Hi, this is Josh. This is a PS3 COK001 that a friend of mine tried to fix but failed and then gave the board to me. I discovered that it had a bad GPU and proceeded to do a Frankenstein mod with a 40 nanometer RSX to replace the original defective uh, 90 nanometer. This had the uh, 3034 syscon codes, so went ahead and did this to fix the problem. See the new IHS there, this was a new old stock chip. You can really see the change in die size from the 90 nanometer to the uh, 40 nanometer. It's quite a significant upgrade there. It is also nice that the 40 nanometer has the RAM chips a little more set in from the edge of the substrate there, as it makes it much easier to reball the chip. I did end up uh, putting leaded solder on this chip before I installed it. And in case you're curious, here's what the bottom of an RSX looks like. I did also complete the other required changes, starting with reprogramming the syscon with the correct bit training data for the 40 nanometer RSX, then removing some resistors and installing this angled 10K to ground, and then changing the parts on this circuit here to lower the RSX voltage to 0.95 volts. All right, I've got the system mostly assembled. Unfortunately, I'm not going to put it all the way back together yet because I don't know if this is the right Blu-ray drive. I have two different Blu-ray drives that I got with all these parts, and I'm not sure which one is the correct one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to borrow a game and a PS3 controller from a friend of mine so I can find out if this is the right Blu-ray drive and also so I can uh, mod the system. But for now, we'll just give it a test. And the Frankenstein is working properly. And he doesn't know the time. We don't have to set it right now. And here we are at the XMB. The system is currently, hmm, let me see if I can remember where it is. I think it's in system settings. Here we go, you can see the uh, version is the new version. So here it is, it's up and running. So I'm very happy with this. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to be doing with the system. I probably, as I said, I'm going to mod it and play around with it a bit. But it was an enjoyable process to do this upgrade from the 90 nanometer to the 40 nanometer RSX. And uh, if I ever do another one of these, I will try to film the process. So thank you and have a nice day.